Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And my brothers and sisters, the New Mexico governor, her little shenanigans with the 2A has now met Congress. Chip Roy just put forward a resolution and it passed the Rules Committee condemning the governor of New Mexico. This little bad boy is the thorn that is not going away from lefties and everything will be linked in the description box below. And please watch the whole thing if you want to see a great little excerpt. Now, now, of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We are distributing freedom twice daily, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. And please help me in welcoming back a sponsor, Ground.News. This is an amazing tool. They are looking to keep the media accountable. They are the number one source. It's a news app and a website that brings you things like this, which will help us in our quest. For example, if you look at the news that we covered when the federal judge basically overruled New Mexico's governor with the TRO, well, it actually shows you who covered it. And of 44 sources, you notice anything interesting there? The left didn't cover it. Almost like the left didn't care about the constitutional infringements because it had something to do with guns. That's why this is such a powerful tool. Now, there's a link in the description box below. Check out ground.news slash Langley to get your own discount. It's about five bucks a month for the Vantage subscription. And thank you so much to have them back. It's great to be here because it's such a great tool. But now, let's get into this resolution, my brothers and sisters, because... This right here is what I'm talking about. Maybe she doesn't get impeached today. Maybe she doesn't get arrested today. Maybe she doesn't have any negative consequences for her rule as New Mexico governor. It's now reached Congress. Chip Roy, who is a stalwart defender of the Second Amendment, who does have a voice in there and can hold McCarthy's feet to the fire, just brought it up. Check this out. Here's the resolution. Then I'll show you the actual exchange. This is gold. The resolution condemning the actions of the governor of New Mexico, Michelle Luan Grisham, for subverting the Second Amendment to the Constitution and depriving the citizens of New Mexico of their right to keep and bear arms. Now, this right here is some powerful stuff, and this is grounds for impeachment coming from a resolution in federal Congress. Check this out. Whereas the oath of office for the governor of New Mexico states, quote, every person elected or appointed to any office shall, before entering upon his duties, take and subscribe to an oath or affirmation that he will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of this state, and that he will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of his office to the best of his ability. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the House of Representatives condemns the actions of Governor Michelle Luan Grisham for blatantly violating the Second Amendment to the Constitution and depriving the citizens of New Mexico of their right to bear arms. Now, I know a lot of you out there are saying, what does that mean? What it means is if you have an impeachment inquiry on the governor of New Mexico, if you have further consequences, if you have a removal from office, if you have any of those types of things, a resolution from the House of Representatives in the United States is a pretty good starting point for support. But now, let's get into this, because it's, it's, it is a death by a thousand cuts. It is slow, but it is rolling. Check this out. Here's the first exchange. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Chip Roy, representative from Texas. Is it also correct that um, uh, the uh, relatively left-leaning gun rights activist David Hogg said, quote, I support gun safety, but there's no such thing as a state public health emergency exception to the U.S. Constitution? That is quote. correct. Um, do you share the concern by these individuals, regardless of their uh, political spectrum, uh, wherever they fall, that the United States Constitution um, is uh, deserving of support and that it would be important for the United States House of Representatives to speak out in defense of the constitutional rights being violated by a governor of one of the 50 states of the Union? Seems pretty big deal to me. Particularly that he called Davy Hogg out as a supplemental point of his, of his whole little speech right there. He's going down the road that just because one of the governors wants to doesn't mean that she can. He's laying the groundwork for going through all of the support against her actions. Earlier in that clip, he went after the sheriff. He went after the um, attorney general of New Mexico. He laid it all out really clearly. This resolution is not going to be the end of this. But now, let's go to the second clip because this is where it starts to get a little spicier. Oh. Uh when when you are removing the ability of law enforcement, for example, in Austin, Texas, or for example, in other states, I'm sure you've had similar situations in Wisconsin, uh, where uh, $150 million is cut from a police department's budget, 
and the police are no longer able to respond to 911 on a timely basis because of radical leftists running cities, in what universe is it appropriate for the government in any way, shape, or form, much less by an executive action by a governor unconstitutionally using emergency powers to undermine the ability of an American citizen to defend him or herself? Um, I believe it may be inadvertent on our friends across from the aisle, but they are the number one gun salesman in the United States of America. And this has been going on now for a couple decades. People will arm themselves. And when you look at the number of women who have chosen to get concealed carry permits and to buy guns, it is skyrocketing. And it's because they do not feel safe. Any questions? That's exactly what you and I talk about all the time. Not only did Chip Roy set it up to say, you are defunding police. You are making it harder for people to feel safe. You are making it harder for police officers to keep the areas safe from criminals, of which, by the way, as DAs, you are releasing back into the society. So you are lowering protection. You are increasing risk. And in what sane universe does a governor use executive orders under the guise of public health to revoke your means of protecting yourself and your family? Any questions? And then the, gov the guy he's actually talking to right here, the guy Ch Chip Roy's talking to, this is a representative from Wisconsin. And he goes down another amazing truth. Women are the, one of the biggest demographic of people buying guns for the last two and a half years. Their concealed carry, same thing. And it goes directly to that point. Democrats are the world's best gun salesmen in a big move of irony. Every time Davy Hogg or anyone of the ilk that is gun controllers open their mouths, they sell more guns every single time, They're thus basically kicking themselves in their own booties. Well, that's just be nice. That's going to be nice there. <laughs> I almost slipped. But that's the whole point. They're creating the problem and then preventing you from solving their problem because they want the solution of complete control. Now, I got one more clip for you because, again, this is in a rules committee in Congress. This happened yesterday. Here's the last one. This is a really good way to wrap this. And the final thing that I will say, make no doubt about it, this may be one governor in the United States of America but there's a whole lot of elected officials around America, in particular on the other side of the aisle, that are quietly applauding this. And that's why this resolution is so important. We need to send the message that we will stand up for the Second Amendment to the Constitution, because if they could take the guns, they will. And all you have to do is look at Australia and countries like that where the exact thing has happened. <clears throat> That is why this resolution is important. We need to stand up for our constitutional rights every day of the year. I and I thank the gentleman from Wisconsin, and, and I'll, I'll uh, wrap up, but I uh, appreciate his sentiments. I would only just underscore your point about other leaders in this country, executive branch or legislative, who would be all too happy to go down the road that we just saw the governor of New Mexico take. And I would note that you are absolutely correct. I would say it probably tends tends to be my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, but no, I want, we need to look in the mirror. There are a lot of Republicans who are all too happy to use the power of government when it affects them and when they're able to uh, use that power. Oh, snap. Not only do we need to send the resolution so the other governors who are sitting there quietly applauding don't get an idea to do it themselves, which was something we hit on really early in this whole saga, but the other thing where Chip Roy comes down and says, no, nah, we're going to defend the Second Amendment rights, and you're definitely right about politicians and seizing power, especially not forgetting those Republicans because they do it too. That was a shot across the rhino bow, and that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.